hello and welcome to another video of our actix web series so in this video we will be setting up our database now this is going to be very similar to another video which i made on uh, corm in my axon series so this is where we left the last time uh, first up let's start by creating a database so i have my postgres set up and i'll create a new database here i'll set up my user and give a name so let's do new block db and our uh, database is ready now let's go to corm and here let's go on get started so we'll start with the database and async runtimes here we have the code that we need to add in our cargo so let's copy this and paste it up here we have database drivers and async runtime so we have multiple options I'm using Postgres database, so I'll use SQLX Postgres for our database driver. And for runtime, again, we have a lot of options, but I will be using uh, Runtime Tokyo Rust LS here. Okay, so we have an error. Uh, Rust analyzers, okay. So let's remove this equal to and give a proper version for SRD JSON. And I think this is it. Okay, now let's go to uh, next page, which is database connection. Here we have uh, multiple connection strings and uh, code for how to set up our database connection. We'll just copy the simple database connection code and paste it in our main.rs. Okay, now let's go to our .env and set up our database URL. Also, make sure to use database underscore URL as the key in .env as it's the default that is taken by the CORM. Now here first, for protocol, we will have Postgres. Username is Treasure and password is also Treasure. You have to use your own. For host, I'll go localhost uh, 5432. Again, go for your uh, localhost and your port number. Finally, we have to put our database name here. Now let's add this variable in our constants and use it here. Finally, we need to add some imports. Okay, we have an error. So for now, we'll just unwrap. We'll do the error handling later on. Now we will use this single database connection across our routes. For that, we'll create an app state. The app state will have multiple variables inside it, which will hold various things like database and any other thing that we need to share across the routes. So let's start by creating a file called app status in our utils. Next up, let's create a public structure called app state. For now, it will have only one field that is public uh, and it will be called DB. The type will be database connection. Now inside our HTTP server, we'll do app data and inside app data, we'll do web data new and finally pass our instant of app state.
this is because we haven't added app state in our mod.rs okay we have again some errors uh, okay we should do move here uh, and yeah that's all good now uh, now let's continue with the rest of our setup of CORM. Next, let's take a look at setting up our migration. So we'll start off by installing our CORM CLI. Let's start by creating a new migration here. So we have a migration folder now. So this is like another project. It has its own cargo.toml and a bunch of files to create our tables. So currently by default, it gives us a post table. We don't want any post table for now. We'll use a user table in this example, but we might need this table later on. So let's just leave it as this and create a new uh, migration to create a new migration we'll do corm cli migrate generate and then the name of the migration again it gives us this default post table uh, let's change this but first let's also comment out the default uh, migration Then we'll change the enum first with user and then its fields. Now we need to change the up and down functions. Now the email should be unique. So we'll add, we'll add a method at the end, uh, called unique key. This will ensure that the unique constraint is applied on this column. Now let's run the migration. Uh, to run the migration, we'll use CRM CLI migrate up, a migrate up runs all the remaining migrations. We can also use migrate fresh that removes all the existing table and then reruns the migration. So we have an error and this is because we haven't removed to do's. Now let's try again. Okay. We still have an error. Uh, let's, uh, comment this mod of uh, create table. Try again. Uh, we have again an error and this is because Okay, so we have left this post still, we need to change it with user. Oh, one more problem. Oh, okay. I forgot to set up our cargo.toml properly. So if you go to our cargo.toml, you can see, uh, this is all commented here. We need to give our runtime and our drivers. We are using these, uh, provided default. Uh, uh, async runtime and driver. So we just need to remove these comments. But if you are using something else, then make sure to use uh, your runtimes and your drivers. Next, uh, we have to do this app grid thing. But for this, we also need our entities. So for creating entities, we can manually create them or we can use CRM CLI. But for that, we first have to have some tables in our database. Okay, so let's run the migrations and migrations have been applied. Now let's check that in our database. And yes, we have our tables here. Now let's generate our entities to generate entities. Let's go to using CRM CLI. Here we have this uh, generate entity hyphen H. 
we don't really need this one let's go down and this is the one we need the h1 just gives you a lot of information but this is uh, the one which will generate the entities so here we don't need to give this uh, connection string because we have database url set up in our dot env and it has generated this entity folder and we have our uh, user dot rs here now this is just the files it also needs a cargo.toml so we'll create our uh, cargo.toml manually So this is how my cargo.toml looks and yours should look similar as well. Here we have added survey because it is needed and we have set our uh, CRM same as the one we are using in our main project. Now we can add our entities and migration as workspace in our main project. So let's go back to our uh, app structure and here we can copy this and simply paste in our cargo.toml of our main project and then we'll remove this dependencies and move the entity and migration in the uh, pre-existing dependencies and with this our basic setup of CORM is ready we have an error so let's see uh, if you go to cargo.toml here we haven't uh, used equal to that was the problem so now it should be good now everything looks good and our basic setup is also ready now let's go back to our CRM page and we need to copy one more thing so here we have this migration up what this will do is it will run the migration uh, as soon as we run our application and I'm using up because I only want to apply the migration that haven't been applied we can also do fresh which will again delete all the tables and then recreate them but we are fine with up for now and I'm not doing any proper error handling, so I'll just use unwrap now. But later on, we'll do some proper error handling. Now let's test out this database connection. So let's go to our handler. Now to get this database connection, uh, what we'll do is inside any method, let's take this uh, test method. Uh, this test method will take a variable, let's say app state. And the type of the variable will be web data app state. now we have everything that we had inserted in our app state so we should be able to use our database here so let's do res equal to app state dot db dot query all and statement will be from string and it will be for uh, Postgres. Finally, let's uh, type a simple SQL uh, command. We will await this and unwrap this. Again, we are not doing any error handling in this one. We'll do that later. Now, I don't have a proper way of displaying this data for now, and I don't want to make this video very long. So I'm just uh, running this as is. Uh, if there is any error, then this unwrap will throw an error and our application will stop. But if there is no error and our database query is executing perfectly, then we won't get any error. Although we won't get any data printed for now. Let's just see if this throws any error or not. Give the proper URL and let's send this. And we have a 200 response. This means that all this code executed perfectly and we don't have any error. Let's do CRUD and uh, error handling in later videos. 
so i hope this was helpful if it was then give us a thumbs up and do consider subscribing